Yeah. <clears throat> so here's a fun problem with some uh, um, uh, relevant uh, political significance right now. Um, in class, we worked uh, all four parts of this problem, and we could carry what we did in one part to the next part to the next part to the next part. But I'm, I'm going to challenge us to take a look at D here. Okay. And um, my pen working here. And it, this problem's a little dated. I think this is an old Zumdahl problem from an earlier edition of Zumdahl. It says in 1998, that was a, a long time ago, 13 years ago, national debt was uh, $4.9 trillion. As of 2011, pretty close to now, I think we're pretty close to, anybody know, $14 trillion is our national debt. A lot of talk about that and getting that under control. Um, just to give you an idea, I hope everybody knows what $14 trillion is in numerically, that's a 14 followed by 12 zeros. So there's a million, and there's a billion, and there is $14 trillion. Um, so we wanted to write that in scientific notation. I hope everybody can do that. We could write that as 14 times 10 to the 12th dollars. Or if we wanted to be really official, we'd write it as 1.4 times 10 to the 13th dollars. So there's our national debt as of... Uh, um, 2011, and again, that's uh, to the nearest uh, tenth of a, of a, of a um, that's to the nearest trillion dollars. Okay. So the question is this: Suppose you could um, you could stack quarters as tall as the uh, uh, Washington Monument. We've got some information about the Washington Monument. We've got some information about the quarter. We know how thick a quarter is. We know what the mass of the quarter is. Um, we'd like to say if you could stack the quarters to as high as the Washington Monument. Um, how many of those stacks or how many Washington monuments of quarters would you need to pay off the national debt? Okay. Um, so again, in class we worked this problem starting with A going to B going to C going to D and carrying information forward. But I just wanted to show you that the dimensional analysis approach would allow us just to start with D. So let's do it. What's the question? Kind of interesting. Watch this. How many what? Well, how many Washington monuments of quarters do we need to equal our national debt, 1.4 times 10 to the 13th dollars, okay? So you're sitting here going, I want Washington Monuments, <laughs> kind of an interesting unit. Uh, I've got dollars. The only piece of money, other piece of money information I've got here is what? I know how much a quarter is worth, okay? At least I assume we all know what a quarter is worth, right? So we can create a little quarter for factor. First factor, one quarter is equal to 0.25 dollars. That's why they call it a quarter. It's worth a quarter of a dollar. Uh, that's an exact one, so that's not going to influence our sig figs, but notice dollar cancels dollars, and now we have quarters. So now we've calculated what? We've calculated, really, uh, if we stop right there, we'd know how many quarters it would take uh, to equal the national debt. Um, we're going to pay that, not in individual quarters, but in stacks of quarters that are as tall as the Washington Monument. So now what do we have to do? Now, I think what we want to do is go from quarters to a height. Well, we know from the problem that 1.55 millimeters is the thickness of the quarter. Another way to think about that as a conversion factor is 1.55 millimeters per what? Per quarter. Hey, hey, guess what cancels? Quarters cancel quarters. God, I love to watch those units cancel. So now I've got a distance. This is how tall the stack of quarters that are equivalent to the national debt would be in millimeters. So what do you think I want to do? Well, I want to get that to feet. I could probably look up a direct conversion from millimeters to feet, but Way back when, um, my old chemistry teacher, Dr. Herlocker, taught me, drilled it into me that one inch was equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. So I'm going to use that conversion factor. But before I can use that, I've got to get millimeters into meters and then meters into centimeters. I hope this is pretty easy now. Millimeters on the bottom, 10 to the minus 3 meters on the top. Milla means 10 to the minus 3. Millimeter cancels millimeter. I've got meters. Now I can go to centimeters. Meters on the bottom, centimeters on the top. Everybody knows that 10 to the minus 2 goes here because that's what C stands for. Meters cancel meters. I've got centimeters. Now I can use my magic conversion factor. I think of Dr. Herlocker every time I use this conversion factor. A 1 inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. Okay, And centimeters cancel centimeters. And lo and behold, I've got inches. Uh, I think most of us who were raised here in the good old US of A can write this conversion factor. There are 12 inches per foot. Inches cancels inches, and the screen is never wide enough, so we're going to jump down to the second row here. Finish off the problem. We've got feet. Last conversion factor, I think. 
Okay, what do we know about a Washington Monument? Okay, we know that the Washington Monument is 575 feet tall. So one Washington Monument is equivalent to 575 feet. Feet, cancel feet. Lo and behold, what have we ended up with? We've ended up with, drum roll please, Washington Monuments. Okay, so now it's time to do the calculation. So we'll pull up the calculator here. A second and we're going to do this calculation okay um, I'm going to turn on the calculator and clear everything up here so start at 1.4 we're going to need some scientific notation here e to the 13th we're going to divide that by 0.25 we're going to multiply that by 1.55. I'm going to move my calculator over here. We're going to multiply that by 10 to the minus 3. There's an easy way to do that. 10, use the exponential button, 10 to the minus 3. That's the same as 1 times 10 to the minus 3. Okay. Divided by, do the same thing again, e to the minus 2 divided by 2.54 divided by 12. God, how did we ever live back in my day with before calculators? And then finally, we're going to divide that by 575. You think this is going to be a big number? I think so. Hit enter. And lo and behold, calculator is giving us that number in non-scientific notation. Don't you hate that? I'm going to fix that real quickly. I'm going to go to my mode button. I'm going to put my calculator into science mode. Enter that. I don't want to show all those digits. I think four sig figs, four digits after the decimal place is pretty good. Uh, we'll quit that. We'll hit the enter key. And lo and behold, that's 4.9 times 10 to the 8th Washington monuments. Okay. Uh, I guess we're around that off. We might say 5.0. So 5.0 times 10 to the 8th Washington Monuments. Woo! 10 to 5.0 times 10 to the 8th. Again, for those of you out there who are still adjusting to scientific notation, that is 500 million. So in order to pay off our current national debt of $14 trillion, we would need 500 million stacks of quarters that were as high as the Washington Monument. Ooh, okay. Well, I hope that was a nice little demonstration of, of dimensional analysis, and I hope that helped you work with your calculator a little bit. All right.